Hi, so it's August and that means it's Banjo Month, which comes as a surprise to me especially. <laughs> um, I hope it'll be a pleasant surprise. Um, this is a very different style of music from anything that I've learned so far, um, whether this year or in my life in general. And um, I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a, a blast. So what I've learned so far, um, there are five strings on the banjo tuned to a G chord. I'm trying to get this in a way that you can see it. Okay. Um, so there's D, G, E, D. And then the fifth string, which is this strange little hinky thing that starts about halfway down the neck, which is a high G. Um, so everything, if you just play open strings, it's, um, it's a straight G chord. So one of the particularities about banjo, as you probably know, is that it's all picked. Um, it's very, well, in certain styles anyway, in bluegrass, which is the style that I'm learning, apparently, um, it's picked and not strummed. So then you have to learn certain roles, which are picking patterns. The one that I have begun with is called the Scruggs roll. <laughs> basic pattern, 3, 2, 5, 1, that refers to the number of the strings, so 3 is the third one in, um, and then 2 is the next one up, the B, the G, no, the D, <laughs> the B, <laughs> and then 5 is the, uh, the half string, the high G, and then the D, the high D is the is number 1. So um, there's a little alternate uh, pattern on that, so after you do 3, 2, 5, 1, you can add in four two five one. And after that, you can, I'm trying to turn so you can see some um, chord action. You can change up the chords a little bit. So the pattern it gets a little bit mesmerizing, um, and that's basically where I'm working on. There's um, I'm gonna try to learn Cripple Creek. Um. I believe that's the melody. <laughs> Typical bluegrass song. Anyway, so um, there we are. Thanks for being part of Banjo Month, and I will see y'all soon. Bye.